All right, guys. Here's another uh, ladder match. I took the beastmen this time. Uh, I wanted to try out a little idea I had, a little build. Oh, uh, we got minotaurs with shields, centigors, gore herds, minotaurs, gore bull, beast lord, bray shaman, vanguarded centigors, and uh, Warhounds in the back. Our opponent has chosen to deploy here. I, I figured he might he might would try to deploy in a large line. But he's deployed on the hill, took a smart choice. Try to protect his areas, nullify some of my charge bonus. Um, here here's our uh, win condition right here. You know, we keep this alive, get this into the right targets, we're gonna win. And uh, that's all we gotta do is just keep this alive, keep it on target. Uh, gore herds are just here to zone out missile fire, uh, help the spears where they can, get in the way. Um, this is my first use of this build, and uh, already I've missed my card. Uh, my win condition should be in a locked group, in formation, until we get close to these spears, and then we drop the lock, issue an attack order, and that way they all pile in on one one unit because that's what we want. Uh, additionally. Our Centigors and Rear Harass have uh, showed up late. We've, we've been late with these. We could have bought more time. We didn't have to rush this. And uh, if we would have stayed in the locked formation, they actually would have arrived almost on time. But uh, we're, we're not in a locked group here, so oh, well, we, miss, we miss out on, on quite a bit of burst damage right off the get-go. We don't see these Dragon Princes in the woods so we run slap into them. Uh, we get a good charge out of left and right flank though. Hit these archers, we're going to hit these archers, then we're going to continue charging downhill into these silver helms. That's a uh, pretty decent value. He's, I don't think he's seen any of this yet. We're getting, we're just standing and fighting here because neither one of us has noticed our, our poor mistake. Uh, we've deleted a spear unit and our intention is just to roll down this line. We're, delete, we're deleting another spear unit now. As soon as we're done, he's reforming. He's, he's given up on this fight already. Uh, he's more concerned with securing the archers that are already gone and we're just rolling this up I did not realize this noble was on a chariot or we would have probably turned and he would have been our next target We would have deleted him come up here hit the rangers, but instead we hit the rangers and Even now we have the opportunity to correct this miss micro We had a good downhill charge into um, dragon princess on this side, but uh, we're, we're staying in combat to pin them and then we uh, don't capitalize here we should have just come straight over, but again, I didn't look hard enough. I thought he was on a horse. We should have came straight over, killed him, pinned the Dragon Princess, killed them. But instead, we're slow. We're trying to completely kill off the spear units. We're, we want to shatter them, not just break them. Uh, so we don't have to worry about them later, because he had, does have a healing caster in the back line. Um, had he not had a healer, that'd be an extremely good trade. But he does have a healer. We got two archers off the field. Uh, we've got really good rear charges and almost all of his cavalry. So uh, that that was a really good trade. But this is where we start messing up. Uh, now we, instead of just killing these, what we've got, we decided to chase him late into the game. So now he, there, he's rolling up. Well, they're just blobbing for a heal. Uh, so we decided to turn around, come back down here, hit these dragon princes, and kill them since he uh, he won't be able to bring back models. So let's just kill this group of dragon princes and then we'll deal with what we have left and these Senegors it's got to be a bug that keeps putting them in this formation but uh, we're just trying to get this last bit of archers we, we don't want them having time to fire down here while we're blobbed up just just do something make him do something with all these troops rather than get some idea of coming downhill on us which would have been the play uh, to be honest is to form what three spears you have left come down here use dragon princes from either side to pin and uh, use your spears. Come around with the back. Try to try to contain this fishbowl this up and kill it. Because if you just meet it head on, it's gonna kill. It's gonna run you over. You, you can't stop it head on. So here we go. Here here comes uh, probably the worst micro mistake of the game. Oh, we should be charging these spears. Should kill these spears. Immediately bounce to these spears while they're moving intercept because that's what they're gonna do. They're gonna charge over here. We should bam hit these guys. Hit these guys, hit the archers, hit them. It should be one quick motion. But instead, we kind of get bogged down on these spheres uh, because we had issued an attack order on the archers instead. 
but the uh, Gorbel comes through with a nice uh, downline charge. Makes things easier than it had to be. Um, in the back we're caught. We should have just turned around and encounter charged. But I was trying to get away. I was trying to drag this ball of cap out and away. Let them get wore down chasing my centigors and then come back with lower armor, tired, not being able to fight this while this had a chance to kill all this and rest. But uh, they're just they're just not getting out of combat. They're stuck. We're trying to micro them away, but they're just not. It's not happening. So um, see an opportunity right here, real quick, with our chariots. There's no reason to leave them over here. Everything's dying. Let's just run these off again. And now here comes some more poor micro on my part. Uh, we've allowed the caster to pretty much do whatever he wanted to all game, so there's no reason to worry about him now. I mean, he's got heals in his back pocket, but he's we've got it one, right? All we need to do is kill the rest of the spheres, get these archers, and then we'll just go on a tour. We'll go kill the chariot, we'll go kill all the, you know, we're just going to wrap the whole map up. But instead, we decided to charge him. we we'll waste our charge while it's charging him instead of just deleting these spheres. And uh, now we're going to have to correct our attack after everything has lost its charge on us. So we're going to pile in here. We're going to kill this. Uh, he realizes that uh, it's over if he loses all his spears. So he turns around <clears throat> and comes back in an effort to uh, to find a blob to heal in and uh, to try to maybe do something about all this. Here is Silverhelms come charging in. Um, again, this has to be a bug because nobody's putting their formations like this. Uh, charges in as we're charging, really as we're charging away. We get a good armor and damage buff off. We kill the last of these archers. And uh, now that we've drugged these silver helms into the middle of our ball, we're just going to pounce on them. We're going to kill them. Uh, now here comes the noble to try to do something about our isolated infantry that's still fighting these last few spears. Uh, Dragon princes, they get on the target they want now. They're finally in the infantry. But uh, they're very tired, so uh, that's hurting them. Alright, we're killing these silver helms, and at this point, the only thing left on the field that has a chance of stopping us uh, is going to do any damage whatsoever are these spears. And we still have a full health lord, a full health corporal, um, a few centigors here and there, a half health minotaur, and we, we've got a lot left, and uh, the enemy doesn't. They have managed to wear my shaman down but he's out of magic at this point and uh, we're pretty much out of infantry to charge so uh, him dying is not going to be the worst thing in the world he also helps block up this uh, silver helm's last stand but um, we've just routed off the last of the dragon princess and that was it there was a lord a noble a healer with no juice left and a handful of silver helms and at this point my opponent opts to um, ad admit defeat rather than fight the game to its end. Uh, I was stuck with the draw as you can see, but um, as far as I can tell I gained points on the leaderboard so I can only assume that he lost points on the leaderboard. So um, maybe that's to deter people from doing exactly that and trying not to lose uh, when it's obvious they have lost. Uh, we made a few micro mistakes, but uh, for the most part we got value. I mean, these two got hung on on Cab in the Woods, Dragon Princess in the Woods. Uh, these other two, they got excellent archer charges and then rear charges in the high value Cav. Uh, these guys, you saw what they did. Uh, the fact that we had plenty of tools to kill the archers, we should have probably went with the uh, double axe version. They blend infantry quite a bit faster, and that game would have probably been a, another minute, minute and a half shorter than it was had we done that and had we been microed and uh, grouped in the way we should have been. But uh, my opponent played really well. He got his use of his magic. He uh, kept his big targets. He held in alive as long as he could. Um, There's really nothing that he he did terribly wrong. He, uh, he could have tried to pin me at the bottom of that hill uh, instead of trying to take the fight to the top of the hill, but that's debatable either way. Um, this is a, is a shock value army. When you when you see a bunch of large creatures charge your spears and your spears disappear, and then another line of your spears disappears, and then another line, uh, you you're in shock. You don't realize what you don't understand why that's happening because spears are supposed to kill all the large, 
and uh, instead they're just deleting your your large killing and uh you have to as the beastman you have to capitalize on that you have to keep moving you have to keep choosing good targets you have to keep shocking him you have to keep stalling the things you don't want to fight and uh you have to be on your micro and it was obvious that i made several i, I would say very big micro mistakes there it didn't cost me the game but uh against a a more prepared more aware player it probably could have so uh lessons learned but uh victory achieved all right thanks guys i hope you liked it uh, I'm just going to keep putting them out there. Uh, anybody has any tips for me, let me know. Uh, leave a comment, like, if anyone does watch it. All right. Thanks, guys. See you later.